Uh, it's Arthur Milan, unlucky the rain wins out. You're probably pretty, pretty pleased with the match performance by Middlesex. Yeah, obviously disappointing. I think we've had a lot of weather the last two weeks, so um, you know it's obviously disappointing not to get this full game in. Um, but yeah, look, we from our last game against Sussex, which we didn't, or the two games ago, which we didn't play very well. You know, we sat down, we discussed the basic things that we want to do, which is to score hundreds, take fifers, um, and do that consistently as a team. And then to come into this game, which is the first full game we've had, and, and to have two guys score decent hundreds and, and you know play to that blue plan, uh, blue plan or whatever you want to call it, that game plan if you want to call it, blueprint, that's the word I was doing, well thanks, um, got myself muddled there, but uh, play to that blueprint of what we wanted to do and, and you know it set the game up for us nice. Yeah. And that first innings, 400 on the board, there was a lot of hard work to help those Centurions on the way, which is something Middlesex talks about a lot, the dig-in. Um, yourself and Sam Robson, you've got the partnership going, you've got 20, it's time as well though, it's not just the way it runs, it's that time in the middle that the uh, top four in particular are able to put together, which helped Sterling as well when he came in to go on and get the century. Yeah, definitely, look, I think it's always tough if you're 10, 20 for two, it's always tough to, to sort of set up a, a big score unless someone goes and scores a big 150, so to be able to do that in partnerships, to be able to, to get to a stage where the ball was old and we'd put a lot of overs into their legs, you know, you earn the right to score runs, and, and I think we earned the right here um, to do that. Both good centuries as well, weren't they? A word for them. I mean, obviously talking about the digging before, but then it has to be executed, and you look to who puts your hand up, and, and they both did it. Yeah, and it, it, to be fair, it wasn't easy. You know, there was always something in this wicket. Um, you know, the, with the divots that were formed, always seemed to be a player miss, and, and when we were bowling, we always felt that we were in the game. Um, you know, so for. For those two guys to, to, to knuckle down and to play the way that especially Sterlo, um, you know, put his natural game away for a bit and, and you know, played the, a, a really responsible innings, you know, and, and the same word to Sam Robson to, uh, you know, it's been a tough year and a half for opening batsmen in the country, um, you know, so to finally get through a tough period and, and get himself in and score a well-deserved 100 was, was fantastic to see. Word for Stephen Finn as well, the five for good for the skipper as well to have a, a rhythmical Stephen Finn running in like that because it looked good from him. It is. Um, you know, you can talk about all the runs you want in the world as, with the bat, but ultimately you need 20 poles to win a game, and we haven't looked like taking 20 poles this year, which is probably the disappointing thing. So to see uh, Finney come back from a, a long layoff and being injured and to, to bowl well and to take a fifer was, you know, fantastic for us as a club. You know, we've got Toby who's, um, you know, going to work on on a few things this week as well. So, you know, when when we have all these guys back firing and, and bowling well, I think we'll be in good stead. It's not a victory, but it is a good performance though, isn't it? And after Sussex, I'm sure that's what you really wanted to see from everyone. Yeah, you know, we, we did really well against Worcester, so that was the same blueprint that we had was was against uh, Worcester. We scored big runs and we bowled the team out twice. Um, didn't come off against Sussex um, and then it, it paid off here. So two out of the last three completed games that we've had or sort of completed games that we've had, we've done what we wanted to do and, and set the standards that we should be playing to. Now it's just keeping that consistency throughout the season so that we can actually keep playing the way we should be playing. That's what I was going to say. Next thing for the captain to look for is that everybody does the same again on day one at Derby. Well, that's the thing. Um, you know, the, the tosses and things have become a bit of a lottery as well around the country. You don't really know what you're doing anymore with with wickets. And, you know, it looks like it's done quite a bit at Derby as well. So it'll be interesting to see how the game goes. But look, consistency in professional sport is key, um, whether that's from an individual or from a team point of view. You know, the, the key thing that we haven't done over the last probably two or three years is that we haven't been consistent enough, which is why we find ourselves in the position that we're in. Um, you know, so hopefully from, well, I'm not going to say from Derby, but hopefully we're starting to find the rhythm that we need to play. The guys are starting to listen to the things that Stewie wants, um, wants implemented and, and, and hopefully we can move forward from there and move in a positive direction.